On the 14th of June 2017, President Uhuru Kenyatta inspected and launched construction of the 1.2 billion shillings Sigiri Bridge in Budelangi constituency, Busia County. <laughs> The bridge was to ease movement of people and goods by linking Bunyala North and Bunyala South wards. <laughs> 13 days later, tragedy struck at the construction site when the bridge collapsed, injuring 25 workers. When we came to the bridge, we saw that it was a crack. We saw that it was a crack. We saw that it was a crack. We saw that bridge. Ikavunjika na wala ambao walikuwa juu bridge iliwarusha juu na wakakuja tena wakafall down kwa bridge The injured workers are receiving treatment at Port Victoria and Nangina hospitals respectively with two said to be in critical condition Si tulipofika tumepata mmoja alikuwa amefukiwa tukamtoa akakimbiza akafanywa first aid Eh, kisha gari likaitwa mepeleko hospitalini lakini wawili wako hali maututi. It is not clear what caused the accident but area political leaders and residents are pointing accusing fingers at the engineers. Kwa river inafaa tukue na, na pila. Naona hakuna pila hapo katikati. Ukiangalia hapa nyuma mahali pila ya mwisho im, vile imekatika unaona zile waya zimewekwa ni waya duni ni kidogo I want to address the engineers who are working on this bridge when we are doing repair please ensure that the bridge meets the required standard engineering standard Area member of parliament Ababu Namwamba has been passionate about the government funded project that was to be completed by the end of July Plans to construct the bridge were initiated following a boat accident in September 2014. Nine people perished as they attempted to cross River Nzoia using a canoe. For Channel 1 News, I'm Brenda Zeda Radido.